Oh boy. Ah, you know what? I, I'm really tired of all the strange... Uh, okay, this is this is a lot. This is a lot. First off, strap in if you haven't already. Subscribe, enable post notifications, ring the bell, make it a go ding. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. You should have been here a long time ago. There's something crazy going on right now in Minecraft specifically regarding an entity, a weird version of Steve that we have encountered known as Faceless Steve. That's what we're calling it at least. And well, every comment on the last video, I'm looking through it and I'm just like, hmm. All right, we could do this, we could do that, we could look into this. People are saying that this is what Faceless Steve is doing, this is what he's about, and they are many things that kind of tie and connect the whole piece of the puzzle together. I am very confused, but what I wanted to do to kind of set him aflame, see what he does with his reaction, because clearly Faceless Steve has a connection to this grave that we've recently found. Now I could be doing one of the worst things in Minecraft, one of the biggest regrets could be arriving at the doorstep. It is definitely serious, Strap in. Hit the like button if you guys want to see this series continue. If you guys want to see more Minecraft videos even continue on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not easy to get day-to-day -day content out. You see some people upload every two days. I don't know what they're doing. But what I can say, hit the like button if you want to see consecutive content. If you want to see this continue specifically, helps out YouTube, helps out myself, and it's just a brilliant thing. Also, if you want to look nice, all right, say you're just sitting there, you know, hmm. I just need something to give me that extra... Look, I got what you need. ONG.merchforall.com. Go get you some ONG merch. You're going to thank me later. All right, you are. I guarantee it. Now, if you do happen to get some merch, send me a photo or something. Now, I am really excited to get back to this today, but I am also worried. Very worried. If you haven't seen the previous videos in regards to this, I say this, you need to go. And there's so many skeletons around here. I, I, I don't know why. But this grave is what holds so many questions. Now, like I said, if you haven't seen the previous videos, you're going to need to do that. You're going, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to pause this one, go watch it. Mm -hmm. Yep, check. Boom. Welcome back. I bid you a cheers. Now, what I wanted to do in this video specifically is I wanted to destroy this grave and see if that angers Faceless Steve. See if he actually attacks us. Now, mind you this, Faceless Steve has not shown any aggression. He hasn't directly attacked us. If anything, he has let us know that, hey, I see you. I know you're here, but you shouldn't be, and you need to get out of here. Perhaps scaring us away, but we are not going away. We're trying to get down to the bottom of it. Now, I wanted to take some TNT to the grave and just blow it up completely and say, well, goodbye. You are no longer wanted here, and maybe this will release Faceless Steve and he will no longer be here. I'm not exactly sure. It's going to be weird. So, what are we going to do? Well, of course, we're going to go to the TNT. We're going to grab some TNT. Oh, not that. Oh, that could be funny, though. But no, um, <laughs> we're going to be getting ideas. I'm like, okay, TNT with a car. Not bad. I could do something with that. But, we take a, bl a bunch of TNT. Some flint and steel. That's what you need to activate it, right? I think so. Huh, haven't done. I haven't used TNT in forever. When's the last? Okay, all my avid Minecraft players out there, or people that play it on a day-to-day -day basis, that's just obsessed over this game. All right, Psh, I'm not obsessed. What do you mean? Um, when was the last time you used TNT? It's a weird question to ask people, but you know what? I ask weird questions sometimes. Anyways, let's go ahead, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna just totally outline this because he also shows around this house sometimes. And I'm not sure why he shows up around this house sometimes, but I just figured let's surround the whole thing in TNT, right? Surround the whole thing in TNT, blow it up, see if he appears anymore, or see if that kind of like, I, I, I think of it like this, because one time, one time when we were looking in Minecraft, right? Uh, we were, like, we happened to find another grave. Now, graves are very rare spawns. Like, you don't find graves hardly ever in villages. So when you finally do find a grave, it's a big, big deal, right? Now, this village, it, it, countless times, there's just weird stuff going on in the village, but you don't find graves always. Now, let me go ahead and play something here, too. We found this grave. And one time we did find a grave previously, and there seemed to be a ghost connected to that grave. Now, I'm thinking if you destroy the grave, maybe it releases the ghost from the grave. He doesn't have nothing to hold attachment to, and he completely dispels, and he's gone. That could be horrible logic, or it could have some sense to it. I'm not exactly sure, okay? But according to the comments in the last video, everybody's like, blow it up, blow it up. Now, I don't know if you guys are just pyromaniacs, or maybe that's really what we should do. Blow this thing up. So, without further ado, I've never blew a grave up. This feels horrible. Is this okay to do? I don't know. But we're going to do it, okay? 
And this house is going to go with it since it's right beside it. And we're going to see if it restores peace to the village. It may or may not. I don't know. But let's do it. Oh, boy. I cannot believe we just did that. There's nothing left. Whoa, it blew over here. Whoops. There's nothing left. Whoa. There's nothing left, guys. Blacksmith weapon guy is too high. I don't think he has anything to return back to now. I think we we just ended it. Does this mean that it's over? Or do you guys think Faceless Steve is still going to appear in this weird village of only one villager? Because I have, I still, I, after reading the comments and everything, guys, I think he killed all the villagers. Like he he murdered the iron. I, I think he was just erasing everything in the village, and it might have. He might have tried to erase us. I feel kind of weird right now. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we should have done that. Um, I feel like he's going to reappear and just try to like kill me or something. Go back to our normal house. Kind of assess the situation. I think that's it. Like, I think... We're not going to have to worry about him no more. Now, I could be horribly wrong, but what I want to know is, have any of you encountered Faceless Steve just like I did? Did you find a grave in your world? Did something weird like this occur? You know, I think the scariest place actually to find Faceless Steve would be near a grave or in a cave system when you're mining in a strip mine or something like. I still don't know the story and I still don't know the history behind Faceless Steve, how he lost his face. <sighs> How about this? I'm going to continue playing on this world for a few days. I'm going to see if anything happens or if I see any traces of Faceless Steve appear. And if I do, I will be sure to inform you all. But I bid you with this. If you guys want to see me make a whole video going over a creepypasta or perhaps a backstory of Faceless Steve and how he lost his face, leave a like on this video. As of now, I think we may have put a halt to all the creepy possessions uh, that's been going on around this village. And perhaps we're leading to a better future. However, there's still the backstory of Faceless Steve and how he lost his face in the most terrifying way. Um, so if you guys would like to see that video, be sure to hit the like button. We can get that delivered right at your sub box. And no problem. Oh, it's no problem. But uh, yeah, we upload daily new content every day. Content that's surprising, uh, unexpected. Uh, you can never anticipate what's going to be hitting the channel. The Faceless Steve, this is this has been interesting. And I've been really involved in it. I've been really into it. I think many of you as well. But uh, I don't know where we're going to go from here. So if you guys got some feedback, comments in the section below, uh, be sure to post that. And we're just going to go for that. Also, I say this and I say this. There's always stuff going on behind the scenes, right? Now, it's without a doubt. I'm one of the more unusual Minecraft YouTubers on this platform. I'm different. Way different than the others. And I see that from time to time again. Now, I'm working on tons of things in the background. We do have merch now after a long-awaited... Like, tell, I tell you. I tell you. <laughs> I tell you. It, it's been a long time. And to finally see merch on this channel. Official merch. Nothing, uh, you know, kind of like, eh. Official merch. It's a, it's a really big deal. And I, I say, if you do ever want to support the channel, buying merch or anything in that regard is, like, honestly the greatest. Uh, it's, it's the greatest thing. Uh, because it gives you something physical that represents the channel. You know, this is all digital. The video, the channel, the subscribers, the numbers, the views. It's all digital. So when you get merch, you have a physical... Uh, something physical that shows that it's real and that these videos are real and I, I think it's a really cool thing because there's real people watching the videos so it's really cool that you can also have 
real items that represent the videos. So uh, yeah, or material possessions. So with that aside, thank you guys for watching the video, supporting all that stuff. We're, we're, we're only expanding and getting better. So we'll see you all in the next one.